Howdy, 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 folks. It's your boy, Lapidary Dave, at the Albuquerque Gem Show. Kind of like, I'd say my hometown gem show, even though I'm from Taos. We are here with the fantastic and beautiful Virgil V. Hill. <laughs> and uh, yeah, some cool stuff. I always come here looking for rough turquoise, but it's honestly not the best place to look. Especially now that I know so many miners and stuff. So cool. These boulders. These are super sweet calibrated uh, doublets. Some are better than others. Sorry. After you. What is this? Um, I want to say it's like adventuring or oh, Amazonite. Oh, I think Amazonite, I can see it like almost delaminating in layers and stuff. I can double check for you though if you'd like. Cool, yeah. And also, if you know where that turquoise is from, I'd love to know. Uh, this one? Yeah, no, the big sheet. Oh, this one? I can definitely find it. I check it out. It looks like maybe Kingman or something. Oh, it has some info on there. Oh, it's something different. It's a six piece agate pendant. <laughs> maybe not the same thing. <laughs> so, a lot of like jewelry and towers and the basic things that make up gem shows. But also some rough. Uh, I bought some really affordable Bruno Jasper, which is skyrocketing right now, and some dry head, which I'm not really into, uh, but it's pretty valuable, especially out in Southern California. People really love it. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Mike. Hey, Spot. Hey, Diane. Hey, Matt. Um, and I got some Moroccan, and it was like just under $2 a piece. That's a big piece of Veracruz. I used to see that. That size. I used to see the little ones. I think the gentleman's a little busy. Some more calibrated. That one's pretty decent. Hey, Dana, I'm at the Albuquerque Gym Show. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Is it like Campitos or something? Cool. Looks pretty good. Like, it'd be fun to cut something giant out of it. Yeah, I would make a boat. Hey, brother, were you at the Durango Show? Yeah. Oh, cool. Good to see you again. That is awesome. That's solid. Yeah, I'd want to try to keep some of that white on there. Hopefully, <laughs> if I cut it, you know, I wouldn't want to cut it all the way down. I'd leave it all like luggy and nuggy. You could probably just buff this and it'd shine yeah. up nicely without even having to grind it. Thank you so much. Uh, how much do you want for it? I would do uh, 220. Awesome, brother. Thank you so much. And I have some of this uh, pyrite in there. Awesome. If you shine that up, it'll have a little bit of like pyrite flex. Heck yeah. That's what everybody loves. That's awesome. I think I didn't recognize your face. I recognized your awesome calibrated oh. doublets. Oh yeah. Those are great and a killer price. Yeah. I'm working on this is a blinger. Whoa, is that Brazilian? It's uh Mexican. Really? Do you mind if I take a look? Really? That's a great Mexican. What kind of machine do you use, brother? Um I didn't cut that one. This is awesome. Not your run of the mill Jalisco yeah, opal. Like, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It could be um, topaz or aquamarine. Yeah, I thought, I thought. Very awesome. Oh. <sighs>
this booth is a bunch of, a little bit of everything. I think these are Lake George. I don't know. Very cool though. Little bit of everything. This is some, some bones. Digging up bones. Yeah, Gy uh, Gypsy, that was Opal. Hey, World of Rock Hounds. Oh, not much. Hey, Joyce. I wish you were here with me too, Gypsy. Last year, I was. Uh, this show took place on my birthday, which was super awkward. People were just giving me stuff, and it gets a little uncomfortable. I like the bones. It creeps me out, though. I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'll pick my nose, wipe it on my pants, I'll touch a dinosaur bone and go wash my hands. I'm just kidding. Hey, this is cool. This is a piece of, oh, that's just a um, trailer by inner shell or something or impression. I thought it was a, a mammoth tooth. These are just big carbonized tusks. These are cool. These Brandberg? Brandberg? No, Shangan. From Namibia or Nambia? No, Zimbabwe. I love these. I absolutely love these Shangan amethysts. A lot of these have anhydros in them. That's a little difficult one to see. Uh, these are really well known for their scepters. Really affordable. Sprite spent about $1,200 on four of these at the Tucson show. Obviously quite a bit different in quality, but um, he's really, really into those. It's a nice green opal. This goes into some cool mossy agates. Colorado Smoky and Amazonite from Lake George area, I assume. It's a lot of pay digs. Still a lot of open claim area for people who want to dig this stuff. To my knowledge. I uh, was at a thrift store in Taos. And I um, <clears throat> bought a big bucket like of that material. It's our friend. We can't get away from him. He's a little busy right now. Nice, here's the value slabs. Here's another piece of dry head, I believe. I think so, is that dry head? Just a like, really small. I have no idea. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> and we know what this is, right, folks? This is Sao Bele from Creed, Colorado. This is Petersite for $24. This is a great deal for this. I think this is, it's a Chinese Petersite. So who knows math? If this is 197 grams, how much is it a gram for $24? 24 into 197. I don't think it fits evenly, right? Oh, I beg your pardon, ma'am. Can I, can I use your calculator for a moment? Yeah. Just wondering, on this Peter site, mm -hmm. what is, how many times does 24 go into 197? Okay, let me see if I can even turn it on. Uh, come on, lady. <laughs> no problem. Let me get my phone. No, yeah, I was going to say, most people would use their cell phone. 24 into 197, what do you think the number is on that? I should know these things. Eight. Yeah, that sounds about right. 
So if if it's eight, is that eight cents a gram? If it's 197 grams, is that eight cents a gram to be twenty four dollars? Because it's twenty four dollars, but it's 197 grams. Sorry for all this weight useless waste of your time. No, no. Uh, I like that slab. Yeah, I'm just being silly and wondering what it was, but I'll tell you what, I it's I have twenty dollars. Could you take twenty for it? Uh, I understand. Yeah, I understand. I just felt free I'd ask that's all I had left. Appreciate you anyway though. Thank you. You don't have any more than twenty? Uh look, just just moths in here. <laughs> Appreciate you, sir, and I'll cut it and enjoy it. I'm sure you will. Thank you, brother. As a kind gentleman, I wasn't gonna hustle him over the floor, but I uh, decided to give it to me. So it's not the Nambian stuff. I think it's different. Some fantastic chatoyants. Very kind gentleman. Eight cents a gram. Not bad. Ooh. Some fantastic slabbies. Some strawberry onyx from Southern California, I believe. <clears throat> Some fossilized coral. Stunning prices. Unfortunately, this is the last day of the show, and if you you know you got to come the very first day to really find the needle in the haystack. Even though everything is worth it. <clears throat> Here's the bin of dinosaur bone. You into dino bones, Verge? Yes. You know they're all over uh, northern New Mexico. I found a great one in uh, outside of uh, Pagosa. I love the yellow. Dang. You know McKay, right? Yeah. McKay said back in the day you couldn't give this stuff away. It was just so much of it. And people weren't really harvesting it like they are today. Man, the cell structures on these are great. And the price for Flexa. Everybody rocks. That is a great one, isn't it? The cells are awesome. It's like this one is like super agatized, but that one's just such a stunning pattern. But I love the yellow. I think most people are after like purples and blues and stuff, but the yellows are my bag. You know what's funny? You don't hear of people selling dinosaur slabs from other countries. It's always America. I wonder why, but I know like Canada, you can't harvest, I guess you can't sell fossils in Canada that you find in Canada, if you're Canadian. But um, you would... What a trip. What a raw deal. <laughs> but um, I mean, I know in Morocco, they find all those Spinosaurus stuff and there's gotta be tons of gem bone over there. You just never hear about it ever coming over someone's well, someone's hoarding it, the good stuff isn't that like where all the mastodon yeah like stuff. the um no not the mastodon but like the um the spinosaurus teeth and the, the shark teeth and a lot of those uh the generic or more affordable ones are from there oh and like the trilobite fossils and stuff so there's definitely got to be tons of nice gem bone over there but maybe they're just not after it and they're after fossils i don't know Whoa. Is this, is this a really just dark lapis or is that like a cover light or something? Yeah, light. Oh, interesting. It's 
cool. This is Waveland, I believe, from like Arkansas or something. These folks have great taste. Oh, that's great. Is this from Wyoming or is it BC? Oh, this Beautiful guy, pie. yeah, this guy has great stuff. Some cool Marcus site. Yeah, I love the J2. The gentleman has uh, quite a few pieces of it. This one's not as translucent. I think this is from British Columbia. This one's awesome. Here. Here's some. Oh, fantastic. Almost looks like an Amazonite. Oh, nice. I love it. it's rich. I beg your pardon, I didn't mean to get your tray wet. One is four. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. That's what people want. That's lovely. Fantastic. How long have you been uh, in the scene, like cutting and slabbing and such? Since uh, 1973. Oh, dang. You've seen quite a bit of change, huh? Yep. <laughs> in the industry. Do you do all your own cabbing over there? Yeah. Oh, stunning. Do you happen to have any of the um, Peter site that you sold me cabbed over there? Yeah. You mind if I take a look at it? <clears throat> Fantastic. And, uh... Um, for your final polish, are you like just using compounds like Zam or Fabuluster? No, no, I just use a Straight wheel. diamond wheel. I use diamond wheel. Yeah. Do you stop at around three thousand, like the pink wheel? I go fifty thousand. Oh, and between fifty and three, do you do fourteen? I do eighty, two eighty, six hundred, twelve hundred, fourteen thousand, thirty thousand. Oh wow. 50. So you kind of skip 3,000 from 12 to 14. Yeah. That's an old diamond, old diamond Pacific machines used to be sold like that. That's super interesting. And that makes a lot of sense because these look great. And I, I don't have a lot of luck with polishing Petersite with compounds. I feel like it's not the right way to do it. Those look great. I'm going to have to give that a shot. Yeah, look at this one really shines. Boom. And then this one is very chiffonian. It's amazing how if you go side, look, turn your head sideways, it really flashes your Victorian. Is that pyrite inside of Peter's Yes. I've never seen that before, ever. I bought enough, but I've seen a lot. <laughs> cool. And is this all the African material? Uh, actually, the reds are Chinese. Fantastic. That's but what the, I thought. The mine in China is now under that lake, that new lake they got. Oh boy. So you won't be seeing any more oil. Oh, I better hold on to it then. Yeah, you better. <laughs> that one slipped through. No, thank you so much, should, by the way. Some great sugilites here. I also, I kind of have a difficult time with sugilite as well. Some people say. Um, this is the one piece you want to buy. If you got, if you got the $50, that's it right there. That is the best jelly I've seen in a long time. Fantastic. And these dark ones, you know, these are jelly too, but they're just dark. They're too dark. This one is the best. I was reading, um, I was gifted by my girlfriend a, a magazine that about, about Lavulite. Have you heard of it referred to as Lavulite? It, okay, so is sugilite and lavulite the same thing, just different qualities? I think lavulite 
have you lied to the police? Oh, okay. So it, would you consider it a sewage light? Not really, yeah, just, it it's, oh, okay. Compound. It's just, it's got more copper in it than, than purple Yeah, these, you can see, you can tell they're jelly. This one's really jelly. That one's really pretty. That little bitty guy. Fantastic. Let's go look at this old genie over here. This genie is twice as old as me, probably three times. I know I'm 33 now, so that'd be 99 years old. So not quite yet. Usually you can tell the year by the serial number. Oh, so maybe 1980. Yeah, we were just talking about this how they used to jump from 1,200 to 14,000, and a lot of old-time cutters still do that. Um, I like 3,000, personally, uh, because if you mess up anywhere along the way, you're screwed when you get to that 14,000. Fantastic. Look at this. What is that? Yeah, the genie that I use is the older version. They've been being made since late 60s, I think. Used to be two companies. Gemtech was one of them. They split off, and Gemtech went around for a while, and Diamond Pacific out of Barstow stayed around. It still is there to this day. The only all-American company. But they're the best. This is a cool way to create a cool dop stick. Just put a nail into the dowel. That's brilliant. much, much better than dop wax. I am the dop wax loser of the century. <laughs> if I use dop wax, I'm guaranteed that I'm going to re dop the stone three times through the process. Uh, and so, super glue. Oh, wow. And it's not coming off. Uh, no, you'll break the stone getting it. <laughs> if you just, you, you can put it in the freezer mm -hmm. and the differential expansion will pop it off overnight. But you, you unscrew it about this far, heat it with a micro torch right there, point it this way, about four seconds, push it on the tabletop and it pops off. Stunning. Meltdown Studio. Are you here in Albuquerque? Yeah, we're here in Albuquerque, uh, near Old, Old Town off of Rio Grande Boulevard. We're a teaching studio. We teach uh, metal crafts. I teach lapidary. Stunning. Uh, all of the different uh, basic uh, metal crafts and, and all of the detail parts of it. We do classes every month. I think it's awesome that you're doing uh, three different uh, courses, it looks like, for different hardnesses. Well, no, that's all, that's all part of the actual class. Uh, the, the class takes 16 and a half to 17 hours over a Saturday and a Sunday. Mm -hmm. And are you just cutting three different stones? Or four different stones? Because, like, you know, you can cut a soft stone, and it does not make you good at cutting a hard stone. And you can cut a hard stone, and it doesn't make you good at cutting soft stones. You'll get too many facets. You, you start with <laughs> soft stone, Picasso marble. Fantastic. A true, a true marble. Then the second, that's what this layout here is. The second stone you do is rhyolite, which is that material there. Then... I give you a piece of Texas red agate. That's the hardest stone that we do. Oh. And then to top it all off, a slice off of a, a turquoise uh, uh, nodule. Oh, fantastic. It, it wouldn't be New Mexico without cutting a piece of turquoise. <coughs> oh, absolutely. The turquoise has its own class. 
Well, no, no, it's the same class, but yeah. but it's its own techniques, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. You know, like, you wouldn't use cerium oxide on leather like you would on agate on turquoise. You know, you would no, use a buffing no. wheel with something like chrome oxide or Zam or Fabulester, or no. some people use other things. Lindy A aluminum oxide. Lindy A yes. on a cotton wheel? Nope. On leather? Lindy A on leather. For turquoise? Yep. Holy smokes. I got to give that a shot. Yeah. <laughs> that is incredible. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Turquoise. And that's a rough leather, even. No, no, it's just these, these little wheels are designed to screw on the end of, of the Genie machine. Fantastic. So, but yeah, that's. Uh, oh man, you learn something new every in, day. Any turquoise that gives you a semi polish on tin oxide on leather or, or uh, uh, any of the other polishes, not counting. Uh, not counting Zam because there you get a semi polish, you also get a, a, a wax finish, mm -hmm. a wax base. But when we do it, um, oh wow! And this is the Lindier. That's that's done with Lindier. That is Oro Grande turquoise. You'll never see or hold another piece of it in your life. Yeah, I was going to say, I knew right away it was 100% natural. It's, uh, it's natural, and you take it out of the ground, lay it, lay it in a flat while you're digging, and it desiccates, it drives water off, and it loses about two shades of blue. Oh, wow. So everybody that has ever seen it says, oh, Oro Grande turquoise, it fades in sunlight. It, that's technically true, but it's not fading, it's just drying out. That is incredible. That is, I've never even heard of it before. Yeah. Is it from California? No, no, it's from southern New Mexico. Oh, wow. Oro Grande is an old gold mining, <clears throat> silver mining area between uh, El Paso and uh, uh, like TRC? No. Alamogordo. Oh, nice. On, on that road that goes from Alamogordo down to El Paso. Well, look at those. Those jaspers are incredibly polished. Yeah. This is that right there. Very nicely done. This is actually an opal. Oh, wow. It's just a common opal? Yeah. It, it's, it's, uh... Look at that polish on that. That is crazy. Yeah. And perfect girdle. Intended well, for jewelry. That's, <laughs> that's what I teach. That's the whole point of the, my partner at the studio was always bringing me pieces that she couldn't set because the girdle was either vertical or undercut or whatever. And so that's part of the process that I teach is to make, make a girdle that you can use a very thin bezel and then roll it into the angle on the side and hold the stone in place. Perfect. And that's the difference between, a, you know, if without a girdle, is it even intended for jewelry? You're kind of just shining rocks at that point. When you have a perfect girdle, that's for jewelry. Yeah. That's stunning. And all, all the stuff I do, short of the turquoise, has that same kind of girdle on it. Fantastic. Wow, that's, that's really nicely done as well. Yeah, look at... If you don't mind me asking, do you use the cab rests or do you do this by eye? I do, I do it by eye and if you look in the machine, there's an angle guide in the machine. Mm -hmm. I thought this was do-it-yourself hanging. <laughs> and the girdle, the girdle angle is determined by that angle right there. Oh, interesting. You, you line it up there on the wheel, go round and round, do your polish, and you end up with a seven to eight degree Brilliant. <laughs> so, how often do you have your classes? Is it, is it, uh, is it every do, month? I do the lapidary class at least once a month and sometimes twice a month. Uh, I do five people at a time because there are five, five machines in the studio. You come in, you're, you're going to spend 16 and a half or 17 hours there with me over a Saturday and Sunday. We, we do 
soft stone, medium stone, hard stone, turquoise, and then I bring in a flat slab from my studio, and you get to sort through and when one either reaches out and bites you, or swoons you in, we'll lay it out and cut a chunk of it out and make a cap out. Oh, fantastic. So <laughs> most people leave on Sunday afternoon with eight to ten finished caps. Oh, is this like the package that it comes when you take yeah. the class comes with yeah. this binder comes and with this. It also comes with the tools of the trade because you're not going to find them anyplace else. Fantastic. Because they're unique to this particular class and, and technique. Thank you, brother. What's your name? I'm Jim. I'm David. Hi. It's a pleasure and an honor to meet you, brother. Oh, yeah. Well, I live in Taos. Okay. It's local enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I lost him. Where's he going? Take one of these. You can go on to the website and track what we're doing within the studio. And where did I hide? There's some more big slabs over there we gotta go check out. Yeah, maybe I gave them all out. I have to get some out. I was gonna give you gonna give you a card, but I could just check out the website and get the information from there. No, oh, thank you. Meltdown Studio. Yeah. If Jim done, Hill. If, if you've done any silver work, you know all about melting something down because you weren't paying attention. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, when, when that happens to me, I have an answer for you. Here you go, casting. The littlest pine cones in the world. Oh, wow. Only they're not pine cones, they're alder oh, cones. Yeah. But who's. They tipped this over and they went bye bye. Whoa. Fantastic. And that was done with the lost wax process? Or? Yeah, well, yeah. well and that, not sand, it, that's it, for it, sure. It, it's lost <laughs> wax, but each one of these was an original pine cone that, pine. that burned completely lost away. Lost cone, yeah. yeah. That is stunning, brother. Thank you so much for your time, oh, Jim. You're welcome. I am so stoked. I'm <laughs> very excited. You. See you soon, brother. That was awesome. How much was the class? I didn't ask. <sighs> Hey, 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 baby. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Is uh, Jeff here? Hey, Jeff. <laughs> How you doing? It's good to see you. Good to see you. Look, you're looking good. You got a, the largest turquoise spread in Albuquerque here at the Gem Show. Did you notice that right. also that we only have seven tables here. This is only half our stuff. Oh, yeah. You, you guys. Yeah, they would only only render seven tables but uh normally we run uh, 15 to 16 tables so fantastic and you'll be at keel right this year yeah, yeah we'll be fantastic. at both and keel where in quartzite you're not at desert gardens are you no no we're at the, at the, at the, at the powwow powwow okay yeah okay there's two cement areas right i mean two mm -hmm. paved paved centers right on that corner which is the one towards the east there's two paved uh, you know what the clubhouse is there and on this, this side over here i'm, I'm pointing north on, the, on this side over here, they've got the little food uh, and the water and the bathrooms that go to the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, that road that goes down that, that side, they just go all the way down at the very end of that on the corner. Oh, the perfect. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And you'll be hard to miss. No. no. <laughs> you have the, some of the best, most, oh, I need to dig through your miscellaneous bin. Is it here this year? Sure. That's my oh, favorite. Yes. I'm going to name my daughter Amaru. <laughs> Wait a second. I didn't know she did. I didn't know you had one coming. Oh, they're out there somewhere. I just haven't met them yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to name her Marlboro, but I think nah. Amaru's better. Yeah. <laughs> this is stunning. What great color. That's a real nice piece of Amaru. Good to see you.
came off and jumped like that. Oh, wow. And it's affordable. That's probably well under a dollar a gram. Show. Oh, cool. That uh, uh, the Lowry's put on. Wasn't the Indian market, right? It was something different? No, no, this was down at the uh, Turquoise Museum. Uh, that's at, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I was there. That that was fun. Yeah. Did you guys do well? Yeah, we I got to say, someone was looking at something real big. I hope they got it from you. Yeah, they did. Good, you deserve it. Because I you... know something's new, number eight. Uh, uh, number eight. The colors on that thing. Is yeah, it is. Yeah. This is great. I like the darker stuff personally. Gotcha. Um, this is killer too. Yeah. I mean, we're here in New Mexico. This is this is turquoise country. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you're from uh, San Diego. Neck San of the Diego. Way. That is right. Number eight. Do you do the San Diego show? We didn't do the San Diego. Uh, well. The next one we'll do is El, 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 El Road. We used to do the Vista show, but we canceled that. Good we did taste. in April. But the San Diego Gem and Mineral, no, because that's towards the end of this month. And they didn't select me because they really took the old vendor from me. This one. Yo, those, those are nice. Are those like Sleeping Beauties or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Those are like cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. I like it. Is uh, this? That's Bisbee, but it's the junk. Oh, it looks good. Someone will love it. Yeah, we feel it. <laughs> Where's the miscellaneous? Well, you know as well as I do, they got it here. Oh here. man, it didn't come around. This is the there. good stuff. You will find treasures oh, in here. Oh, I got there. a good one for you. Treasures. I had a couple of good uh, people know turquoise. They says, "Here's some cheap bisbee." Cheap bisbee. I'm lying. I'm lying. It's Chinese redskin. Redskin's the poor man's but, bisbee. But you know what I mean? Look at, look at the colors on it. The, the blue. And some of this actually Chinese redskin does have an intense blue in it. Um, I don't know where you had it, but yeah, sorry. I'll show you. Sure. Fantastic. This is a killer nugget right here. Polychrome. So it's $16 an ounce. This is probably... Oh, $16 a... How many... How many... Okay. 16. 16, 16, 60, it'd be 256. 256 a pound. Yeah. That's stunning. I mean, Mr. Montoya will sell you Campitos for $450 a pound. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> Campitos? Yeah. yeah. How much? I think we have some Campitos or something. Oh, this, in my opinion, this smokes it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, weigh, weigh me out this one. Oh, we're going to pick out some more. All right. I got to... God, I didn't come here to buy anything from you. No, I know that. <laughs> you, you, know, I'm, you know I'm an, an addict. I need turquoise or I'll die. <laughs> and uh, let's weigh out this big mystery thing. 2.8 ounces. And that one. Do I get a discount for you licking my rocks? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I'm just, no, I'm going to lick it after you anyway. I know. That's 7.6. Cool. You don't have to get a pound though. Oh, I know, but might as well, dude. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it up. I'm gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna pay for, if it's gonna pay for itself, over and over again. I should just buy this and this and this for me. <laughs> but so here's some more over here. Red. This blue is stunning. It almost looks Mongolian. Guess I gotta, gotta get that one. I'll pick out before. I'm oh, sorry for it, just handing you stuff. Just dump it in here. Just dump it in there. Dump it in there. Yeah, this looks totally looks Mongolian. You like those? Are these? These are. Okay, they stabilize and then they they tumble it in the black stuff. But at least it's. I think that black. Don't you think it's shirt polish? Yeah, for sure. But it's a cool old school look, right? Yeah, like it's an old school thing. Yeah, but like, you don't know that. You know, it's it's so well known, well in the scene of people who care, that it's almost appreciated for w what happened to it. 
I mean, people just don't do it anymore. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, you got the squirter. Squirt, squirt, squirt. Hey, how you doing? Oh, how you doing, bad boy? Good to see you. Yo, you've been working your butt off. The last time I saw you, I was in rare form, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> we had a good time. Yeah, we did have a good time, dude. I forgot that you live in, you live in Albuquerque, right? Oh, dang. Sorry, I forgot. I guess don't remember a lot of that. <laughs> but good to see you, brother. Is the missus here with you? Oh, no, no. Oh, how are you? Howdy. Hold on, hold on. Stop for a minute. Where did you put that information? Oh, I want to see right here. Yeah, oh, here. Chinese red skin? Like this? Skin to me. And uh, that, that looks very much like Monchon. I'm wondering, what's, what's the going rate for cut and polished gemstones, for example, parcel Ethiopian? That is impossible for me to answer over the phone without seeing the quality. The cuts also increase the value or decrease the value. Um, I can't even give you a rough estimation of the lowest quality or even the middle quality. It's, it's impossible to answer without looking at the material. That's cool. I didn't come here to buy anything. But they got me. Got me good. That's I am Lapidary Dave. How you doing? Nice to see you. Give me some sugar. <laughs> Thanks I for watch your YouTube stuff. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's great. When I, I go to the things, I watch you and it's like I'll, I'll get in there. I came to film, but these guys hooked me in with my weakness. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you. Oi oi oi. Where are we at on here, Rich? That is nice. Let me, let me spray this one. It's an odd one. That is cool. I like weird. Weird is good for Davey. No, but in drugs, there's a guy selling um, stabilized Sonoran for $20 a kilo. Huh? And I bought maybe. 20 kilos. Wow. And I'm thinking you should just go buy the rest of it from him. He has a whole table set up. Um, so when you're walking into jogs, if you don't have your lanyard, I'm not into like if I if you you know how it is. You have to, if you have to tell if, if it's so green you have to tell somebody that it's turquoise you're kind of working against yourself, but you don't have that problem because obviously everything you have is turquoise. So somebody, yeah. Somebody's walking by when you're the remind me over there walking by at the funeral complex some day and just yeah, well, hey, 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 uh, how <laughs> yeah, <boy>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. Yeah, just remind me, if, if or uh, I'll try to remember. You guys should go buy me. He's a Pakistani gentleman. Mostly sells how like. Would have, why would he have Mexican? He what bought it, the, and I don't know, but. Uh, so a lot of that's controlled by the mafia. <laughs> oh yeah. Out of it. Yeah, Good. and uh, I'm a hoarder, so I only, I don't cut too much or. Put myself out of business. I'm really good at working myself out of work. <laughs> oh, that's right. You never did that to miss did you? I didn't make it that far because of you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, some of that red skin was really cool. Not all red skin is created equal. You need to get some of that um, heavily piratized Nakazari. You should go either get it from the Rubacabas. They were selling it for 400 and I bet you if you buy enough. I don't, yeah, well, you know, here's some old Nakazari, but it doesn't have the pyrites. The thing is, that's one of the assumptions you did buy that. A profit margin in the inventory, I'm not going to go, if it was 400 if, let's say it was 250 you would still really have to get, you know. And it's a tough sell because of how heavy it is. People put that little nugget on the scale, find out that the nugget was a pound, and they're disappointed because it's so heavily prioritized. Oh, I, I, fig I figured there was a reason why you didn't have a whole bin full of it. 
Sonoran gold? Eh, it's cool. You can give the people what they want, but it's dyed. But it's dyed. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's enhanced. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and that's fine. I mean... I did not know that. Yeah, it's absolutely enhanced. And, uh, which is cool. I mean, Mojave's enhanced. People dro drool over that stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, so give the people what they want, you know? <laughs> I mean, and Mr. Montoya makes a killing off of that stuff. You know, so... You never met him? You haven't been down the secret turquoise vault? You never heard about it either? No, I've heard about it. Oh, everyone's heard about it. Yeah. I've never been into it. Have you been in? He's a super kind guy. How you doing, my friend? You finding nice stuff? Yeah, a lot of good stuff. Thanks for watching, brother. Yeah. I wish I had something to give you. <laughs> but I haven't paid for it yet. Oh, okay, I'll just pick one of them. I'll pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You a jeweler as well? Yeah. Fantastic. Stunning. Fantastic. <laughs> You're probably as addicted to turquoise as I am. <laughs> oh. Pleasure to meet you, brother. See you soon. Heck yeah. Play this out for me, Richie. My favorite guy, Justin Thomas, mm -hmm. Black Opal Direct. He's like uh, the biggest opal guy, bald head guy. Yeah. He does felt. Oh, okay. We call it like muslin or something, muslin. Yeah. Well, with cerium oxide, and he does. He even uses the orange stuff. It is not even going for the white stuff. So, uh, lots of pressure. Yeah. You know, it like I guess it likes yeah. the heat. I think people, since it's expensive, people think it's fragile. That's not. <laughs> is it Ethiopian? Then you're good to go. Ethiopian, pain in the butt. You probably heard stories, right? Oh, you're good. Oh, fantastic. Oh, man. Yeah, then if, if it survived since the 70s, then you're good to go. Like, the if it was Ethiopian, it would have been... Just, and it, there's good Ethiopian and there's bad Ethiopian, and it would have had a problem. But yeah, cerium on felt. Some people use leather, though, and I like the felt. <laughs> let me know. Message me. Let me know how it came out. <laughs> no, thank you. You get something good? All right. While we wait for them to weigh it out, let's hand it over to Verge. Help the people. Let's take a look at some more of 
Oh, <clears throat> another thing I wanted to tell you. In Denver, I was talking to a guy from Kazakhstan. And I love, everyone loves Gold Hills. Yeah. But it's so expensive right now. Right. He says he's bringing it to Tucson, 750 a kilo. You gotta get on that. You're like, yeah. you, 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 okay. You know what you, you know what you, you know where you're at. Yeah. I hear you. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring you some. Yeah. Yeah. Some cool sleeping beauty. Uh, $250 a pound. A real deal American standard when it comes to turquoise. Not my cup of tea. But, um, beloved. Rich Blue. Oh, I don't know if that's a name or. Anyway. I sleep under the bridge, so I'll be here. I'll be back. No, sir. If Richard keeps farting in the hotel room like he's been doing. Oh, he'll be under the bridge with me? Oh, my gosh. What are you eating? It's that Subway sandwich, I'm telling you. Everybody rocks. Was the nugget over here? Was it over here somewhere? That Virgil was looking at? Let me know. Where was the nugget? Okay. Um, was it this one? Call that one, two, three, four. Was it one of these? Which one was it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, sir. One, two, three. This one? Do you want this one? Wait, was it was it one of these two? Three, four. Uh, no, it's not a tapper. This one? If you want it, I'll get it for you. This is a piece of Monchon, I believe. Would you like this one? Looks pretty, like a good cutter. All right. Oh yeah. Well. Yeah, I'll take it just in case I have to track you down. Yeah. Email it. Just press your tax right up. I don't pay taxes. You're right. It is my business. Do you write off those Subway sandwiches? No. You should. <laughs> yeah. Because I, well, don't forget, when I, I pay my taxes, all this travel mm -hmm. stuff is on it. It's like I don't count, I don't take my receipts. You know, I'm going to get 55 cents a mile driving the distance I do. Oh, okay. Or 59 miles. 50 cent, 59 cents a mile or something. They get me for tax purposes. Can you hold this for me one second, Bert?
have to do another one just here in Tucson. Jeopardy. Oh yeah, you know I. Also, I Andy don't Brown really can, know that. Andy Brown can buy. You, you probably don't know per se, but I know him from. He buys your books from the online. And uh, what's her name? Uh, Joel. Back to work. This thing is rolling. Uh, <laughs> I love you guys. See you soon. Okay. Definitely come by and say goodbye and get a bite of that sandwich. What kind of sandwich you? You got turkey? Yeah, turkey. Everything. Uh, turkey. You got salami on there? Yeah, whatever's in there. Okay. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs> Let's go look at them slabs. Over here. <sighs> Whoa, that is stunning. Look at that. It's like three dimensional, it's not just. Wow, that's some big old hills right there. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Of course. That is some cool stuff. Love the lavender. The lavender color. More slabs over hill that I wanted to look at. Just behind the lapidary dude. Okay. Where would be? It's over here, I think. Where is that studio guy? Oh, there it is. Okay. Found more slabs. We are on a slab adventure. All right, Verge, tell me what everything is. This is from California, I believe. I know this is from Michigan. This is the Kona Dolomite Stromatolite from Marquette, Michigan. They call it moose blood. Pretty cool stuff, $14. That's a big piece for $14. I said, that's a big piece for $14. <laughs> This is cool. This is uh, from Chihuahua, Mexico. Uh, my good friend who lives in Hatch, his brother is from Chihuahua, and I think he's the claim owner of this material. Oh, uh, that's cool. I think that's, uh, I think that's Moroccan. He must have a big saw cutting such big slabs. <laughs> Oh, wow, really? Fantastic. I don't think I go to the... I think this one I have to go to the 24. Oh, that's fantastic. But the other slabs that came off of that was a little bit bigger. That's probably one of the smallest slabs. Oh, wow. I had that on the 24 inch saw. Well, I can go up to a 30 inch if I have to. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're going to have to dynamite it out of the hillside now because you just. Ooh. Only comes one place in the world that does that. That is fantastic. It's going to be a shoulda, woulda, coulda stone when I'm a, when I retire. It's going to be gone, and I'm going to wish I had some. You get down there. I've, I've got, I've got 30 pound chunks in my uh, I just don't cut anymore of right? it. This has got some cool saginetic sprays in it. The little sprays right there. Saginite. How long you been cutting, brother? How long have I been cutting? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, you've seen it all then, huh? I've seen a lot. <laughs> That is, uh, 
That's one of the best pieces of big diggings you're ever going to see. That they mined that out. 70 years ago, that quality. Big Diggins? Big Diggins. That's a cool name. Come from down south, uh, about 11 miles south of uh, Deming, Deming area. Big Diggins sounds like a country song. <laughs> that is a very cool piece. That's the name that uh, Aaron, Aaron uh, Westmoreland gave us when he found it. Definitely. I mean, the provenance is so important. Huh? Provenance is so important. Especially if you're cutting them into cabochons, those are the things people want to know. And those are the stories that they tell. A lot of the people know they know. They just want to know if they're pretty or not. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> How much they sparkle. Yeah. Those sparkly bobbles. Sparkly bobbles. A lot of this stuff, uh, for the most part, is uh, Baker's Ranch. Except for this, that's, that's uh, Mexican uh, banded, Mexican banded. That is uh, Soso Laguna. They're fantastic. So I had a bag of them, and the guy was selling them down in uh, Deming years back, and he, he called them hot shots. That's a good name. It looks it looks like Laguna. That's another piece of uh, big diggings, old big diggings. That's big diggings. That's graveyard plume from, uh, I think that's the Washington side, because the mine actually runs Washington and Idaho. If you don't mind me asking, for um, these agate nodules and stuff, are you using a traditional lapidary machine, or are you using like a Richardson or maybe a bullwheel? Most of the time I use a flat, I, I, I use a handheld flat lamp and go through the grits on air. Oh, cool. And do, uh, do a felt polish with uh, a double ox, uh, tin oxide. Very cool. Tin oxide. You know, you don't. It's kind of an old school polishing compound. A lot of companies like Diamond Pacific, Cab King, and they're not really advertising tin oxide. No, they most of them don't. My they friend. Got, they got cerium oxide. And it depends on what you're doing and what kind of finish you want. Mm -hmm. And what kind of stone really it is. If you want to do it, and somebody really wants to pay the price, I'll do a fifty thousand diamond on it. And I'll, I'll load up a, a, a diamond disc, but then, then it's going to cost you when I do that. It's really going to cost you. How much is this? Well, I may be marked on it's a cool piece of, but might be just shoots. That is a cool piece. I like that. I beg your pardon, sir. Sorry. We'll look at some opals. Always good, brother. Getting hungry. I'm sorry? Oh, yeah. You know, I play, uh, when I'm not doing the rock thing, I play a lot of music. And uh, 
just been busy with that. It's been eating up my world. Yeah. <clears throat> You see the larva in there? Yeah, it's, it's gonna hatch. Super Looks like that sand. Someone just messaged me, asked if I changed my phone number. No, I didn't change my phone number yet. But I did get a new phone, so I lost everybody's contacts. So if you need to get a hold of me, or you're waiting for me to respond to something, go ahead and text me again. Oh, this is a good one. Explosive. The inverse is here. You can see the inverse inside. <laughs> She was. Yes, sir. I'm thinking about paying these guys in Mexico 10 cents a carry. That's great. Is that about, about right? Oh, yeah, I mean, um, <clears throat> so if I'm lazy uh -huh. and I'm fat and I try to do about 500 to 600 carats a day and I can do that in like two and a half hours, three hours, you know what I mean? So there'll be people who are really passionate about it and if they if you if, if they're giving you the quality you like you let them work as long as you want that is fair it is fair and it's going to be really good well but i'm cutting uh, i got one that i've got, got bats and on the drop stick mm -hmm. i can cut the stone totally all the way through uh, in six minutes mm -hmm. all the way through polished everything mm -hmm. it's dry dry cotton back on one that i really, really like. it comes up in about 40 40 seconds or so in the bucket yeah, I, that ten cents is a great is a good price, and but but you know we just have to you know it's not just polishing it's creating a good girdle designer shape, not all wobbly little beans you know what I mean like perfect girdles and and that, I think that's a very fair price. Okay. okay. Um, I would probably pay hippies less in Taos, New Mexico, <laughs> than that you know what I mean because I mean there's so many variables there's training and then there's waste and here's the thing <clears throat> when I first started. I was hired um, by a, some dudes who were working with Lone Mountain uh -huh. to get some cutters in Taos. Uh -huh. And they were paying by the carrot for training. 
Oh, you told which me is a disaster yeah. Yeah. because people want to cut the biggest stones to get the most amount of money, and that's not the way this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to stop slab and back. Sounds like you're doing 49% of the work. <laughs> know, but then all I have to do is put it on the drop stick and cut it for me, mm -hmm. and then uh, bring, it, bring me back the uh, power step. At that point, 10 cents is stunning. There's going to be people who are going to, you know, easily do a couple, couple thousand to your quality and to your design well, you, and you see how i like to cut stuff where you should use all that uh, the stuff that i cut was all that nakazari or get the nice roll edge and... oh yeah i think that's a great idea okay and you think you do it uh at a uh closer uh, up north no no i'm uh, i'm in san diego no no i mean in mexico uh, oh this guy's worked for me off and on for uh, 35 years uh he lives in Tecate. Is that close to the border? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's right on the border, just in Mexico. Okay, cool, and, because uh, uh, that's perfect. Because the reason why I ask is, um, it's just like mailing something to Indonesia. If you mail something to Indonesia and you're paying somebody to cut it relatively, for, in one way or another, as fast as they can, mm -hmm. you're going to lose a little bit of quality. So for a while, you're going to want to be there mm -hmm. and to oversee things. Uh, or this, someone. this guy's a friend of mine. We. He knows quality and he knows what... Oh, we've been oh, okay. together for years, years, years. Uh, he'd never cheat me in any way at all. Oh, perfect. Then you're, I think you're good to go. Yeah, I can, what he's going to do, he's got, uh, I don't know, he's got like 30 or 40 acres there and he has goats and everything, but uh, he comes up to work, but um, he's got, uh, he's going to uh, build a shed and put in this the whole thing, do it in his house, and his wife and him and his wife, and then bring uh, some of the uh, ladies in from uh, Takate to... Oh, so it's like a real personal affair. It's not just binding. No. Okay, no, no. it's. It sounds like every the ducks yeah. are in a row. I'm thinking you're going over there, no, no. solo, like figuring this stuff out. I tried that one time years ago. I went up down to uh, Santa Tomas and uh, tried tried doing business down there, and I wound up in problems with the federales and everybody wanting to bribe and all that kind of crap. Yeah. And, so you have a good foot on the ground over there yeah, in Tecate. Yeah, but I, I don't even have to go down there. I don't go to Mexico no anymore either with my Spanish. Jeff, your Spanish is better than mine. And I, and I have lived in Mexico for like seven years. You have such good, you, you're a brilliant man. I think you're just trying to butter me up. No, dude, I don't need to butter you up. No, that, that's stunning. I think it's extremely fair. And now, now, um, it's, if it was an if it was an agate or something, oh, maybe it, it's a completely different story. You're taking ten times the time, and but turquoise, and it, it's going to inspire people to be better. And um, you know, you're going to get matched pairs. It's going to be stunning. It's going to be. Yeah. We got we all the turquoise in the world, and a lot of it doesn't cost very much. So I figured we could start slicing that stuff up. Yeah, I can, the, the, the more central you get, the kind of worse it gets. Well, he was, he was talking, telling me that uh, he could probably hire, uh, hire people for 15, 40 bucks a day. Yeah, and then, then it's, you know, a lot of people are like, I have a friend in Delhi, makes about $12 a day. He g takes his girlfriend to the movie theater, takes her, buys her a gift go see another movie and has a little bit of money left over. And I can't do that on a day's work here in America. No, no. So it's like, blah, 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 blah. We're the financial backbone of one of them of the world. And, no. and it's not that that's really the worst money. It's just that everything's so expensive here. And it's a combination. It's going to be, you're going to do great, Mr. Best. Okay, good. <laughs> I can't wait to see you when you're a millionaire. You got to let me come work for you. <laughs> I, I pre appreciate the advice. Do you have my phone number? Uh -huh. I'm going to come back. I'll give you my card um, when I'm done. Or I'll give it to you now. Because if you're going to do um, turquoise, it might even be able to save some money by doing silicon carbide. Belts. Over diamond. Well, it depends. Well, if it's a family and there's only. Uh, I, I run two diamond wheels and two, uh, two of the, uh, uh, the belts. Silicon carbide belts. And three uh, spinner plates. Perfect. 
No, perfect. And that's it. That seems really economical too. Oh yeah. Because you know Diamond Pacific Nova wheels, there's a hundred, hundred and twenty-five dollars for a six-inch. So, and then the training process is, it's a dollar a belt, you know. Um, so if you go, yep, you got me. So message me anytime for anything. <laughs> Your family to me, Mr. Best. I, I'm ready for you to be rich. All right. <laughs> See you later, brother. See ya. See ya. Dog? No doggy. Well. It's rare. It says there's a sign over there. It says it's a $1,000 fine for misrepresenting a service dog. Which is kind of good and kind of bad. I mean... Mineralis. Hey Lizette, how you doing? Look at the gator. It's a beautiful Mongolian piece. With some cool little hematite discs on it. Awesome. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? I'm doing good, brother. Just chilling, ready for some pizza. You want a slice? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> good. Love you, brother. See you soon. That's cool, lapidolite. Always after nauseas. That's cool. Little halle piece. That turquoise is great. That's good sleeping beauty right there. That is that Hubei turquoise or is that a Verisite? Either way. Pulling on that is great. No nauseas though. That's a cool piece of boulder. Boulder. Cool Roy Boulder wrinkles. Some quartzy candle quartz with fluoride. That is stunning. Is it Fujin this again? It's Mongolian. Stunning. Oh, this one's even cooler. It's the candle with the blues. Frosty cool, just like you. That's cool, I've never seen hemomorphite bursting like that. Boom. 
Hunan. You're making pizza? You need to make me pizza. These folks have amazing goodies. Stunning. I beg your pardon, sir. Do you mind if I take a look at your rough? Thank you. Lots of dinosaur bone, three dollars each. That is a great deal. These ones are two dollars each. You want some dinosaur bone?
that one is super cool. <laughs> oh, it's three dollars. Can't even get lunch for three dollars in this town. But can you eat? Good. But can you eat dinosaur bone? I beg your pardon, hope I'm not getting you wet. Do you take a card, sir? Alrighty. So, um, these came out of the twos, but this one kind of looks like it came out of the three. It just wandered into the two. Yeah, okay. Uh, and these are three, sir. Okay. Yellow feather jasper. That's great. Sir, I didn't um, notice these. I'll take a look at these before I cash out with you as well. Okay, this is our detail. Yes, sir. Thank you kindly. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I remember you. <laughs> yeah, I go down there with my grandma every year. It's a blast. Yeah. Get away from the cold. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, okay. Okay, this is 31. Make it 30. Thank you. Appreciate your kindness. Was it going to bug you over a dollar? Gosh. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Can't even get, can't even buy a soda for a dollar anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> can't even buy a bottle of water for a dollar anymore. You can't even drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your kindness, brother. These are cool preforms here. Ready to roll. Good thickness, too. My best work, but okay. it'll work. <laughs> it'll do. All right. Oh no, thank you, ma'am. Condors from Argentina. Hey, thank you so much. Awesome. Holy smokes, is this uh what it, is this? It's it's fantastic for sure. Oh yeah. Those are great. Great. Not too bad for is it? Are those plumes or is it like dendrites or something? I can't even tell. Christy, they are nice and they're really affordable too. Thank you so much for sharing those. What yeah. a trip. And you just threw them in the tumbler and they survived, huh? I did, yeah. I didn't even see it. Kathy. You got good taste. <laughs> Thank you so much, folks. How do you remember me? From the den of the show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good to see you. I'm David. My daughter and I were doing my husband. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, you're like, doesn't matter. Oh, gosh. <laughs> It's hard to film in the Crown Plaza. It is. Uh, and it's understandable. There's so many reasons why people hate it. One lady's like, well, now everyone knows I drive around with $15 million worth of gold. And she takes it home every day. And then... <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. My good friend... Uh, one of the turquoise guys, he wasn't even vending. He just stopped by Albuquerque, took his trailer, and um, and it was full of his life's work of turquoise. Anyway. Yeah, I saw you, the guy that you were with, he was here yesterday. Hippie guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I remember you. Are you with Paul? Yeah, Paul's my husband. You folks, I heard it was your first show here. At Albuquerque, yeah. You guys are stunning. Thank you. That those cases are Thank amazing. Thank you. And those Mongolian uh, candle quartz and stuff. Yeah. I, I don't see a lot of those. I'm sure you do, being a mineral lady. Well, but um, I those see are. What he brings home. Yeah, you guys are uh, above and beyond. Thank you. Seriously. Did you see the bull girl? Oh, a little bit. I, you know. It both, did he show you both sides? No. Do you think I can ask him if he would show me? I'll show you. Cool. Just, there was customers here earlier, and I try not to be around them, you know. So again, this is Rock and Gems. 
saw one side. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh man. That's fantastic. And did, did you Yeah. Boom. That is incredible. What when you and there's so much more in there still. Yeah. It would be sacrilegious to cut though. We won't. Good. I, well, <laughs> somebody wants to buy it, cut it, but I'm it's my baby. But there's not leave the house very often. I the horse. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks for watching, man. <laughs> I've watched you for two two years straight. Oh, thanks. Cool. Oh, thanks. Here, let me give you a gift. Awesome. Let me give you something. Awesome. I appreciate you watching. Thank you yeah, so much. I, I, yeah, I'm a bit of a nut, but you made it worse. You heard it is the voice. Get you. Yeah. Like, Here's a free dinosaur bone. You can, you can, you can, you can lick it. You can put it on the table. You can cut it up. Make some jewelry. I'll just play it with all my other zillion minerals I have in the room. What's your name, brother? Ronnie. Ronnie, it's a pleasure to meet you. Where does that fantastic accent come from? Well, Houston, but I have, I've been in Bernalillo for 20 years. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. When they say Bernalillo, I think of, um, what's the zombie movie with Woody Harris? Zombie, yeah. zombie, zombie Land? Land? Yeah, it's, so he meets the guy and he goes, oh, I got that tattoo in Bernalillo. Oh, you got a tattoo of a zombie bite? Yeah. <laughs> so whenever we hear that, that's our yeah. joke. Yeah, I used to ride in a Harley to his place, his town. So I stopped going there a lot of years ago. I didn't have a need of being an ex-preacher. I didn't have a need to be there. Right. So I stopped hanging out in your hometown. I do that too. I, I hang out there less and less. I love it. I love it. It's a blessing to be there. You come by my shop in Bernalino and drink a cup of coffee in the morning. It sounds stunning. You know, That's Al's stupid. Appliance. Absolutely. Yeah, Al's Appliance. Find it. Yeah, you can find Al's it. Appliance. I've been in Bernalino for 36 years. You, you can find it. That would be amazing. Thank you, you for the invite. Here? Yeah, come by and drink a cup of coffee or water or something. I was going to ask something. Oh, are you, do you folks, are you anywhere in Tucson at all? Chicago, Tucson, right there in the Mineral City. In okay. The I figured you had to have been in Mineral City and on you were somewhere on Oracle. He's, you got big Oracle tried. vibes. <laughs> did you see this one? No, I did not. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Holy smokes. It's almost like a Nikolai. That is amazing. Paul, you and your wife have great taste. In, in my opinion, I think one, top three displays here for sure. <laughs> I want to come bug you in on Oracle. Yeah, for sure. I'm in the RMGM tent, so across the street uh, from the Mineral City. And then I think I've seen you at the Denver show, because I did a call and Yeah, we were there. Yeah, yeah. I was with this hippie guy. He made the shirt for me. I'm not a big no, Grateful Dead guy, but it's a cool shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Tie-dye, you can't go wrong. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's Lapidary Dave, easy to remember. Okay. But I'd love to give uh, to properly interview you sometime. Uh, today I'm just doing live stuff. Um, but because you're, you're really one of a kind, you and your wife, and what you do is it's spectacular, and you have above and beyond taste. And uh, you're also friendly. It's, not, it's a little tough uh, in Crown Plaza, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> and then, Some people are just... Whoa. Oh, dude, yeah, and that, that fear, the fear will destroy you, and uh, I'm happy to hear what I overheard. I try not to bug, I try not to film too much when people are doing business, but I heard, you said you were, this was pretty all right for you, this Albuquerque show, yeah, even though it is definitely a slower year. Those are from Shidar, Pakistan. Yeah. Do you mind if I take a card? I want to have a proper, proper interview in Tucson, and I want to put it out before the, like, try to film it the first day before the big rush, so that people know where to find you and they can go see you there. <laughs> it would be a blessing.
Yeah, it's and it's I think, oh, it's so hard. I mean, what? It's they should have like a meeting or something online, and then like I have a bazillion ideas for advertisement. That's so much better than a random tourist magazine or. Oh. Well, I mean, our social medias are usually where we're from, and you don't even live here. <laughs> or, or, um, Den well, you do live in, you do live in Denver. Okay, but still. Still, so, hey, here's a card. Do your own advertisement, but then give me your money. I actually laughed because I literally worked in the hotel when it was Oh, wow. Flashbacks. It is flashbacks. Is it nicer, or is it not as nice? Oh wow. And I wonder if it's just like now it just kind of feels like it's off the highway somewhere and it's still nice. I mean, I still can't afford to sit in that bar all day. <laughs> but <laughs> This octopus is stunning. Do you think it's No, is it is it from Bali? Um, no, so we handed um, the gentleman the tourmaline and they carved it. Oh, stunning. Is the... I mean, the detail on it is amazing. So Nung does the crown cafe. He's the guy that does all the carvings. He did. Amazing. We had three dragons and literally got them and sold them the next day. Oh, fantastic. We're going to have to get some more. <laughs> I got to ask, because you and Paul have such great stuff. Do you, do you keep a private collection for yourself? That's good, because you're going to regret it if you retire and everything was for sale. And then... Oh, fantastic. He actually had some people that looked at it at the Hard Rock show. And he actually had some people that looked at it at the Hard Rock show. And they lived down here. And so we brought them, but they're not in town today, this weekend. Oh, dang. Uh, was it down at the AGTA or was it upstairs? Um, he was upstairs. Oh, cool. So when you met me at the Crown Plaza, it's because he was doing the other show. Oh, cool. The Hard Rock Show is fun. Uh, the AGTA. They add a few zeros. <laughs> That's well, and we've had people, they ask, and they're like, your prices when I go, you know, our prices are really good. We don't mark it up They're stunning. I go, the thing is, is we want that relationship with you, so we want you to come by Rocks for months every year. We want that client. We don't awesome. want to gouge you. We want the relationship with you. Oh, man, that is so cool. I think I'm going to have to get one of these. Can I? So... How about that one? I want that one. Or should we get that one? What do you think, everybody rocks? This one, this one, or this one? Oh yeah, those these two here. In the aqua. Yeah. This one's my favorite out of all three. Which one do you want? That's my fave. <laughs> this one's stunning too. A little bit bigger, but I like the smaller one. And how much was that blue tourmaline? I didn't see the price. <laughs> All right, I'll take that one. Yeah. Sorry, I have to. I almost never carry cash anymore. Oh, 
that's explosive. I got something different on there. Not that far. Like I bought here a couple really? years ago. Yeah, I bought two of them. Did you get that one, Ronnie? No, I got this other one. I got that one. Oh, fantastic. Double terminated. You got good taste, Ronnie. Pleasure to meet you in person. That's so cool. Oh, you're so, so cool. For two years, man. I appreciate what you do. I overheard you let say me, let me buy this. you're a man of spirit. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. oh, they're talking turkey. We'll look at some of these. Can we look at the other colors too? You mean like these ones? Oh, I'm not collecting it. I'm going to mail it to everybody rocks. I'm not a collector. I'll, I'll end up eating it. But I'm, I'm buying it for everybody rocks. <laughs> Even a nicer piece. So that one has a really genuine back. I'll show you that one. Oh, wow. It's gorgeous. That's my pocket rock. It says my pocket rock. <laughs> I totally understand that. It's nicer than the first one. Sure. And there's like tourmaline that grew into it, and that gives it that white spray. I have a crippling guitar addiction, and I don't need any more guitars. But rocks are nice. My grandma, she doesn't get mad that I'm spending the money. She's just mad because they're stacking up in the house. And this is a lot less, it takes up a little bit less real estate. <laughs> less real estate in the house, too. I didn't want to leave the house because I'm feeling under the weather. I'm taking Mexican penicillin. Oh, fantastic. I'm probably not as contagious as, as I look. Sounds familiar. Uh, my mom, my brother gave it to my mom, and then my mom gave it to me. So it's just going through the house. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I got a little scratchy. Um, while we wait, do you mind if I look at if you could take out this one? Ah, uh, this beautiful green one. Is this something with garnets? I'm good. 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 I'm good.
Maybe they'll lose it right away. But it'll be out of your head at that point. Yeah, the, the deed was done. And now I'm heading over to those quails. I actually, I came here to buy some of those. <laughs> but Paul, Paul's, Paul's magic stopped me in my tracks. So I... <laughs> Absolutely. It's all about the, the networking, making the friends, keeping those, those uh, relationships alive and stuff. That's what I'm all about. It's hard for me to do the online stuff because they don't get that interaction. No, where's the... Yeah, it's, it is. And, uh, yeah, you, you nailed it. Get that more personal good stuff. And then, you know, seeing why people collect stuff where a lot of times online... For me, you don't get all into that depth because everyone's just in a hurry on that. You know, they're all free. You know. They'll look all around and then when they find something they like, they say, well, what are you into? Why are you correct? You know, it's, I love those stories. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Paul. You're the best. I'm going to come find you both in the Oracle. I hope you uh, do. I'll be there. Yeah. I, I will be there no matter yeah, what. Man. My grandma does Kino. She's done it for like 30-something years, so we're always there. and. I'm from Florida, so it gets really cold here. I can't complain to you. You're in Castle Colorado, Rock. Yeah. So, but I get out of here. I'm so done with the cold. No, I can't do Florida because it's really Oh, man, I'm like a little sausage over there. I love it. So I'm bacon. Next time you come to Colorado, let's go. No, no, I was just asking if you had a private collection. I would never impose myself on your fantastic private collection. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go see the quails. Quail time. Quail time. It's in there. Hey, brother, how much is this one? I'll take this one for sure. And, but I might want another one. Is this one 30 as well? They all are. There's another one over here. Oh, that's the big mama. That one's shiny. Mm. <laughs> you know, the big mama's cool. Uh, no, I don't want to break them up. I got to get that one. That one's super cute. And let's... Oh, it's how do you pick? They're so great, dude. The little ones are harder than the big ones to make. Mm. I'll take this one. I'm sorry I have to use a card, though. Do you take a card, brother? Yeah. Hey, this gentleman actually makes these. They're fantastic. I believe the serp is the serpentine from Grant County. It's the Ricolite. This is Ricolite. The other birds are made out of this from uh, Silver City. Oh, cool. It's Magnus Light Serpentine. Oh, Ricolite Serpentine also. They're two different kinds. Yeah, the hummingbird is pretty sweet. Yeah, I bought one from you years ago, and uh, maybe it was only one year ago, but they're great. They're fantastic, brother. You're a stunning artist.
Hey, Steve Phillips, thanks so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Last year I was here on my birthday. It was a lot of fun. This year I was on an airplane. I took the sketchiest airplane to the Santa Fe airport. <laughs> it was so tiny. Thank you, Steve. I really appreciate you, brother. Perfect. Thank you so much, brother. The eyes and the beak are Akama Jet from Akama Jet. Oh, really? Akama Jet. Yeah. They're so affordable, too. They're $30. You can't even take your girlfriend out for lunch for $30, bro. Yeah, this gentleman makes them, too. They're not just, like, mass-produced in Brazil or something. He's... I had to get two. <laughs> yeah. These are Ackerman Jets. Oh, wow. Just to show you what it looks like in something else. Hmm. i slide over here. Chino Mine, Santa Rita. Native copper and host drop of malachite. Oh yeah, those are just big copper blades. Look at the baby bears. Hey everybody rocks. Happy belated birthday, you fancy burrito. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. You're too good to me. Too good. Boom. I didn't know I could like. Okay, we're going to use the other card then. Alrighty. Alright. Thank you. My guitar pick. Ugh. I don't care about this one, but doesn't these damn blue chips cost forty dollars, forty-five dollars now? I think. Okay, that one works. Perfect, brother. Thank you. You like a repeat? Uh no, it's fine. Would you like a bag? Yes, please. <laughs> You are a Libra? Yeah, my birthday is the second. Wool verse with, uh, with Navajo artesian jewelry. I've been searching online, but not a... Yeah, you can find professionals. To get good help, it costs money. Thank you so much, brother. Appreciate your work. Got some more slabs here. Let's take a look at the slabbies. Oh, but we bought too many things and we're out of hands. I'm going to put the phone down for a second. Is Mr. V Hill? Where is Mr. V Hill? Hey. I 
thought this was the Silver Lace Onyx from California, but it's uh, something different. These look like they're cut by the Armandos. I think they might be. Yo, I missed something. Jenny Casper, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. And Lisa Sanders, thank you so much for the 20 bucks. I really appreciate you. Thank you for all you do, Dave. Love all your lives. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It costs a lot of money to come to these things. And I am responsible for gas since I don't drive. And so every bit helps. Lisa, you're such a good friend. I love you so much. I don't deserve your kindness. Thank you so much. Stretchy, stretch, stretch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think I'd even bet money that these ones were cut by Mr. Armando. <clears throat> oh, I gotta find Virgil. I think it's almost time to go. I love you, sister. We gotta play sometime. Where? Is it where? He might be outside. There's a great flea market. Should I take you guys to the flea market? You guys want to go to the flea market? Should we go to the flea market? Enough of the rocks. Time for fleas. I'm down. What do you guys think? He would never leave that table. Yeah, let's go to the flea market. Let's call it wraps here at the gem show. And, uh... I'm gonna have to call Verge. Find Virgil, then we'll go to the flea market. Thanks for watching. Oh, what's the turquoise? Is that Persian? Well, it looks like it. Is this Persian? Oh yeah, it's you. Of course it is. How are you? Good to see you. Sorry, I didn't realize where I was in, in relation. I'm like, that's got to be Persian. It is. It's from Nishapur or like Kerman. Kerman? Fantastic. I love cutting it, but it turns my fingernails black from all the pyrite. It makes a big mess everywhere. What's this over here? Is it gas beads? How much for the gas beads? Not bad. Hey, Christy Peacock, thanks so much for the dance and lemon. I appreciate the soup chat. Thank you so much. Good to see you, brother. See you soon. Uh, that gentleman was at the Turquoise United show. He had a really cool booth. That was in Albuquerque as well, I think. I don't even remember anymore. Where's Verge? I don't think Verge is in here. All right, so we're gonna call it wraps. I'm gonna plug in my phone. Actually, let's just go together. I'm gonna to turn off the Wi-Fi. We're gonna walk over there. Walk over to the to the flea market. Pull cameos. I want to commission a cameo, but with my face instead of a pretty lady's. No nausea, though. Well, one nausea. Only nausea of the night. 
cool Santa Domingo necklace there. Let's go to the flea market. <laughs> Cameo idea. It'd be easy and it'd probably be really cheap too. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I just touched the glass. Oh my God. I, can I, let me grab that paper towel. Let me wipe it down for you. I'm, that's, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was terrible. back up at the flea market because it's so thanks for hanging out at the Albuquerque gem show spent too much money but we'll make the money back money comes money goes bought dinosaur bones to sell bought turquoise to hoard and tourmaline and baby quails to give away. All right. Is Virgil in here blazing a big one? He's not in here. All right. Yeah, gonna end the stream now. Gotta get my water out, call Virgil, go to the flea It looks like I spread Vaseline all over my... Because it's, it's like a mildew or something in it from uh, the water ski accident in New York. All right, y'all. See you soon.